Yo, what's the word? 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 It's your man's DJ Key Product, the Chicago mixtape supplier, back with another one. If it's your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, and hit that bell. So every time I drop some new work over here on the Keys Network, you know what it is and you know what's going on. So listen, I came across a video early this morning when I woke up. I was kind of cruising to see what I was going to talk about on today. I came across a video. I don't have the clip, but it was of a of a woman and a guy. They were serenading each other in the middle of it looked like Walmart. But it, yeah, they were in the middle of Walmart and they were singing to one another. And they sounded good, by the way. They both need record deals. I, well, I probably won't go that far, but yeah, it, it sounded good. But overall and overall, it, it was just a, it was a great sight to see. You know, and people pulled out their phones and they recorded and everything. It was it was something to see. It was it was excellent. It was beautiful. You know how they carried on that duet, and it was of a Luther Vandross song. It was Luther Vandross and another artist. I forget the name of the song, but man, I wish I had the clip, but I don't have a clip. But overall, I I, I saw a caption in there. Cause the, I guess the originator or the creator, they, they, they captioned it. And in the caption, it said, we used to connect even total strangers used to just connect. We used to love one another. We used to be loving. We used to be inseparable. We need to reconnect. And when I saw the caption, when I saw the video, I'm like, man, this is spot on. This is correct. This is true. And a lot of things have changed just over time, over 10 years, over 20 years, over 15 years, over 25 years, things and, and, and just the way things are done now. Wasn't like how it was back then. You know, even when I was coming up as a kid, the home was structured. I was blessed to have both of my parents in the home along with my brother. You know, and there's some other people that I'm that I'm friends with that can relate to that. They had that, too. Then there's a handful of people that I know they 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 didn't have it. They, they came from a single parent household. But social media has changed a lot of people's perspective. And, and, and I, I, I'm not going to blame it all on social media because experience has something to do with it as well. Your experiences shape and mold your opinions. What you went through, what you experienced. It now gives you an opinion on a certain issue, on a certain topic, you know. But I thought about that and I was like, you know what? That again, that post was was spot on because I've seen total strangers just click, you know? And they didn't care about what this person had, what that person had. They just mesh. They just mesh well, you know? And they enjoyed each other's company. There was no mention of money. There was no mention of prestige. There was no mention of status. There was no mention of any of those things. It was just two people enjoying each other's company. You know? And with the, with, with the influence of social media, we lost sight of that. You know? When was the last time you saw a man sing to his woman. We don't even see stuff like that no more. You know? So seeing that, and I don't know when the video was taken, but seeing that, it was, uh, it was beautiful. And, and, and so many people were moved by it and they enjoyed it, you know? 
But yeah, we used to we used to just click. We used to be inseparable. Now we're in competition with one another. And I think a lot of these movements of today as well kind of has an, an influence on the state of affairs now. A lot of these movements came about because people have felt like they were wronged or cheated in some kind of way. You know? You got the passport bros going overseas to get a woman because they feel like a lot of the Western women, all they care about is money and material things. So now they've gone overseas to try to find love. You know? There's a lot of hurt people out here. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to call them damaged. I'm not going to say, I'm, I'm not going to do that. There's a lot of people that are in pain. There's a lot of people that are hurt. And they're moving about with the mindset of this is what it is and this is how it should be instead of really just sitting with the pain. I don't know how many times I've said on this platform, sitting the importance of sitting with your pain and taking all the lessons from it. If you sit with your pain, you sit with those ailments and you take all the lessons from it, you will come out stronger. But at the same time, you can't paint everybody with the same paintbrush. Everybody's not a cheater. Everybody's not a user. Everybody's not a liar. We make our mistakes. But everybody is not bad. Not all guys are, are womanizers and sleep around. Not all women are hoes. There's some queens out here. There's some really good women out here. Just like there's some really good men out here. But because of the noise and because of what's plastered everywhere and the foolishness that's plastered all over the internet and all over the community, We either can't hear them or we can't see them. You know? True love. I've heard some people say that true love has died. The idea of real love, the idea of true love has, has died. Or is on life support. I don't believe that one second. I don't believe that for one second. God is love. You know. And true love. Could never die. True love. Real love. Is not dead. It's not on life support. It's not even in hospice. But I will say that it's in the ICU because so many people have misused it and abused it and never had real good intentions when dealing with people. But the way to get it out of the ICU is if you're hurt, don't try to jump into the next situation because you don't want to be alone. Sometimes you got to be alone. You need to learn about, you need to learn who you are. You keep attracting this type of woman. Okay, why? You keep attracting this type of guy. Okay, why? You need to sit and explore those things. Get to the root of why you attract a certain type of person get to the root of why you are the way you are. Why, why do you move the way you move? Why are you cynical of people? 
You got to get to that. And it take work. And a lot of us don't want to do the work. We don't want to do the work. You just want the benefits. But you don't want to put the, the self-work in. And every relationship you get in continues to crash and burn. Every situation you get in continues to crash and burn. 10 years ago, 20 years ago, there was no such thing as a situationship. It was either you in or you out. Ain't no in between. Ain't no, you know. And why do you have people on the side? You going into it thinking it's going to. It's not going to work out. So you got these people lined up in case this falls through. In life, we're going to get knocked down. We're going to get hurt. We're going to experience pain. We're going to experience hardship. We're going to experience disappointment, heartbreak. But it all comes down to how you deal with it. But you got to deal. You got to deal with it. And you got to deal with it in a healthy way. You know? And the way you can deal with it is really what I've come to the conclusion. A lot of people don't have God. They don't have God. You need God to get you through everything. Some people only pray when things are going good or really, no, actually, no. Some people only pray when things are going wrong in their life. But then when they have good breaks, they don't really have those conversations with God. They don't say their, their, thanks, their prayers of thanksgiving. You know, God has brought me through a lot of things. And it's is 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 good because this month is is January. A couple months ago in October, I said in January I was gonna do a fast. I'm on that fast right now, and, and I'm praying for wisdom and, and discernment and a lot of these different things. I'm praying about my future spouse. You know, I've never been married before, but that was all I saw growing up because my parents were together until death did them part. My mom passed first, then my father passed five years later. But that's all I saw growing up, marriage. That's all, that's all I know. I don't know how to, run through women like smokers run through a pack of cigarettes. I don't know how to do that. I I don't have the I don't have an appetite for that. We got to reconnect. And part of how we reconnect is getting ourselves cleaned up. And getting ourselves ready. But all of us got somebody in our corner. And that somebody is God. You just got to utilize it. You got to utilize him. But that was on my heart today. And I just felt the need to share that. So that's where I am. But what say you? Drop a comment. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and hit that bell. And until next time, hey.